Hey Brent, welcome to the Poundcast. Hey, um, thank you, Doug. I just thank wanted you. to let you. I'm checking out this. Oh, word! Look at this. I'm checking out this website. Oh, what is it? It's uh, lvjco.com. Oh, what? Check this out. Oh, they have. Uh, that's where they sell this uh, Louisville vegan jerky. Oh, he did. He did. <laughs> yeah, and um, wow, look at this General Sows, Buffalo Dill, all these wonderful flavors. This is Louisville vegan jerky, and it's at lvjco.com. That's right. And uh, our Poundcast listeners can get 20% off the entire order. Really? How so? How do they do so? Oh, they go to this website, lvjco.com, and then when they check out, they use the code word Poundcast and get some 20% off. Oh, wow, small batch variety pack. I'm getting hungry. Imagine getting 20% off of that. Can I get some? Yes, you can get it, it now at lvjco.com. Use the code word Poundcast. Hold up. You know me. I'm a real U.S. patriot. You know, I'm a real true patriot. Is this stuff back in the United States? That's right. Okay, I'm in. Any other questions? Yeah, well, I'm also, um, <laughs> you know, I like to sort of store things and, you know, for emergencies. So does this stuff have a shelf life of nine months? Nine, nine months. That's correct. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow, great. I could store it and just hold it there for a while. Nine. Nine. It won't last, though, probably, because <laughs> I'll be, yeah, go- I'll be gobbling. Last, you're gonna be- it won't last, because I'll be gobbling. But um, what else do I want to know about this? Oh, you, you look, you can buy this uh, at the store. They oh, have it at really? Whole Foods if I want to go out Sprout. and about, spend yeah. a little extra? <laughs> yeah, if you don't want to take advantage of this amazing Poundcast special. I can get it where? Off. Can I, I like to go to Whole Foods. Is that they a place? They have it, yeah. Really? Seems and then what about Sprouts? I like yes, that place. They, they got really? The, seems like they got it there. Really? <laughs> really? Really? So thank you to lvjco.com, our sponsors. Use the code for podcast, 20%. Off. I can't believe the savings on that. It's practically paying for I itself. I can't you know. believe the savings. Um, um, what else do you want know, to talk about? Today well, this, we, have a, we have a really this, good show. I was going to say, this episode is also sponsored by users like you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We have something called patreon.com slash poundcast where you can sign up and you can be a direct uh, sponsor of our show, keep this show moving. But it's you're not just sponsoring. You're paying for a service. Yeah, you get an extra episode. Each episode, you get the extended episode we call Unzipped. And today we happen to be hanging out with Bobby Birdman and Jenny Lee. They're our special Unzipped exclusive guests. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> there they are. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that we, we played some games. We it's had, fun. That's a, I'm going to tell you fun. right now. We, we, we kept going. You're going to be glad you subscribed to the Patreon on this one because it was a fun... I thought it was a, one of our most fun unzips in a while. Yeah, I would agree. I would and agree. so you're going to love it. You're going to love and it. And it's not just that. You get early access to the episodes. You know, they come out on Wednesday for Patreon instead of Friday. And guess what? It's ad-free mostly. Ad-free mostly, okay? Mostly ad-free. So patreon.com slash podcast. You're going to want to sign up now. Yes, <laughs> and you get, there's other stuff on there too. And if you want to watch video of the shows, go to youtube.com slash the podcast. Okay? And We're on social media at the podcast as well. That's right. Instagram, TikTok. And that's okay? Fine. And Twitter, I believe. Uh-huh. Um, now, what else is uh, anything else you want to mention? No, I think we should just you know, let's talk about this episode. So this episode is fun, really fun, actually. We just we had the band Yacht on, and and well, Rob's in Yacht, but we had the whole band here for the main episode. Yeah, and we talk about all. They have well, a new a song on the radio called the, "Finger in Your Eye" that we just can't get enough of. And. They do music, obviously. They're a band, but they do lots of other things, too, and we talk about all those other things in the episode. They're writing books. They're writing... They're doing other things. So buckle up. <laughs> Let's buckle up, Nichols, and check out Yacht. What do you think, Brent? Roll it sounds clip. good. It sounds good. Let's right, roll the clip. And you know what? Clip. Do you guys want to roll the clip of this? Let's roll the clip. Okay, let's roll the clip. You just got to roll the clip. You point to it, point to the screen. We roll the clip. Let's roll, roll the, the clip. clip.
Poundcast. Welcome to the Poundcast. We are here with members of Yacht, all three members, Claire yeah. Evans, Jonna Bach. <laughs> 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 I was Brechtel. 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 You got it. Brechtel. You got it. And Robbie Keysweater on bass. Yeah. <laughs> not, not and just keys. Just and keys, I know. He's got bass. He's got keys. <laughs> he plays guitar, too. He also sings. Well, yeah. I haven't seen you guys play live in we don't a do while. That. We're a recording project now. Well, you, this we, is what I wanted to talk about. We'll get right into it. But you guys are more than a band. You guys are a philosophy. <laughs> uh, you do so much stuff. I was looking... Yeah. I was looking into... The Wikipedia doesn't even barely scratch the surface. No, the Wikipedia Because I sucks. went on your website and it was like, yeah, what? How do you? We're just rockers, man. You're involved in all kinds of stuff. Yeah, every yeah, the five a day thing they had, and that you sold oh, it yeah. too. Five I every think. day. Yeah, we sold it. We're very rich now. <laughs> yeah. No, we just stopped doing. We it sold it to COVID. the hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, five every day was an app that many of us in LA used. What was that like every eight day. years ago? Pretty much every day. Pretty much every day. It had five things to do. That day. Pandemic LA. killed it. It was, yeah, 2020 that we stopped doing it. Oh, that's... Yeah, there were no more things to do That makes sense. <laughs> that we ran out of things. I think I was checking in, like, did you... I was thinking it'd be funny to be like, go for a walk, or... There was one that was like, to... please stay inside. You yeah. know, from that era. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't you dare go out. <laughs> I guess there could have been five things to do digitally or virtually or something. I did right? a mailing list for a while, but yeah. then I realized I didn't want to anymore. <laughs> I wrote that you, app for free for seven years. I, I, I did guys, my time. I did think you guys sold it. No. no. Why do you not, think that? I love that you thought that. I don't know, but it was because it was not, doing well. It doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. It was doing yeah. well. It sold no ads. It mm. was like... Yeah. People there was no really, technology. There was people no technology were using involved. it. People were finding yeah, yeah, out yeah. about it. There were people yeah. coming to shows because they were finding, finding out about it. We still get stuff. show listings emailed to us every day. We had clout. We had clout. And no one deserves to have clout for more than five years. Well, that's the that's the cloud cycle. Well, the official cloud cycle is five. The two wet crew shows used to put used to post our two wet shows on there. Oh, oh yeah, well, yeah, of course. We got mm -hmm. the we got the five everyday bump and those Always. things were packed. Always, although you don't even need it anymore. Those were the days. <laughs> those were the days. Um, and right now, and then you're not you're putting out singles now, right? True. Single so are you done singles? with al True. Are you done with albums or what? Um, we're trying like a new strategy, which is actually just basically exactly the old strategy, which was put out singles and then put out an album. Well, but, it seems like but the album's not done. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. We're so we're just we're building, building them in public. out as we make them. So it's like, oh, we're done. Let's put it out. Well, and then eventually there'll be enough and it'll be a record. There's a track, and I emailed you guys about this, that I've been really liking a lot. And it, they've been playing it a lot on the radio. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I hear it all the time. Every time it comes on, I like it more and more each time. <laughs> I listen to it at home. And it's just got a really good driving rhythm to it or something it's, that it's just line. it's just really infectious you know and it's got and a good hooky a hooky uh, <laughs> lyrics to it going, too going, you know, everything it just, what it's else it's called finger it's called finger what about in your the singing eye. do you like the singing singing is great everything yeah. about it is great i love the the whole thing it's not, i actually want to just get into how you how you create songs mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. and how that happens and then specifically with that song too yeah. Just sort of blow it up or explode it, if you will. <laughs> it's some kind of like we song, that song. Just, some kind of a song, that song dismantling a or something. Let's explode that song. Song expanding. Right. Song expanderer. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't know. You started that song. You can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that song kind of works. It uh, started with this idea of how we made our last record, which we, I don't want to get into that, but we used AI to make our last record. Snooze. Oh. Yeah. But that was a lot of like looking at MIDI and then trying to perform MIDI, so MIDI that we didn't write ourselves. So not starting with usually we would write we would write songs by performing things that feel good in your body to play, like either a bass line, a guitar part, or even a drum pattern, and then building from there. This is like taking a foreign object, trying to learn how to play it, and then something happens. But with Finger in Your Eye specifically, that started by yeah having a MIDI clip, trying to play it playing it wrong and then building the song based on that wrong what? playing of the thing. A where, did, wait, where did you get the MIDI clip? Yeah, well, explain that. Did you uh, program it yourself? He said he didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to talk the, about the it. Old, the old way, we, yeah, the, the, the way we used for our 2019 album Chain Tripping, we used uh, an AI model called Latent Space Interpolation, where you take two two clips and then it's like every option possible between those two clips. Uh, this with Finger in Your Eye, it was a MIDI clip from something else. I think it was just like a keyboard line that I played. 
So you played remember. the original MIDI clip. This is clip. the yeah. most like convoluted I know. explanation of I know. how a song is made. But I mean, that's what it started with. It started with that, and then like I processed. It's just guitar that's processed. That's like pitch shifted and stuff, and cut up. He was jamming in the studio, and I came in, and I was like, "There's something here." I was using call the Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I literally texted Rob, and I was like, town. "Rob, we're cooking or something." Yeah, that text. We're cooking we on text. something. And I was like, "I'm hungry." <laughs> yeah. what, how did you get this? Digga 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 digga. Yeah, There's yeah, that yeah. kind of thing going on. Where's where do you get these digga 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 from? You know, I mean, what's that? From? How's that coming? Yeah, where'd you get that digga digga digga? That was like that was pitch shifted guitar at first, so it was like uh, half as fast, and then sped it up, and then replayed that on bass, so it matched the oh. sped up. Guitar. But that sound is characteristic of very early yacht production style. Yeah, 2005. I love a computer. This song kind of goes back to that song a little bit. When I bit. came into the studio and I was like, oh, this is something. It was because it would like evoke the best of early yacht to me when i joined the band and i was like this is cool how, how and how did you write the lyrics do you do that together or just one person finger in your eye was like that it started with that phrase that line yeah, of finger yeah, yeah. in your eye but then it was like why and what but you know what? honestly another like ai influence thing in the sense that like for our ai record we used all these like text generating systems to like conjure up words and it like totally changed my relationship to putting words in songs where I was like not thinking about meaning at all and I was just thinking about how things Sound, sounded yeah. yeah like a pop song which is like how pop songs are kind of supposed to be written and I always refuse that because I'm like I'm a writer and I'm like things have to mean something you know <laughs> like there's a story but now I'm just like whatever sounds good and it's like very <laughs> liberating and I don't think it's meaningless or less meaningful I think it's like a different kind of meaning cuz you like start with a sound and then it's like what is that what does that mean and then you build on that well, where did that first line come from I don't know the our shared like phone note notes app note <laughs> it was know. about Someone contact, wrote it down. contact lenses it was not um, about contact lenses I'm afraid of contact lenses when I was a kid, I, I saw a woman take out a contact lens in a public park, and I fully thought all people's eyes did that for like <laughs> 10 years. What, you, what happened? I saw a woman take out her contact lens, and I'd never heard of or seen a contact lens So you thought like before. eyes just can, you can just peel <laughs> yeah. a layer So off. I would sit in front of the mirror just like psyching myself up to touch my own eyeball. Damn. Just being like, well, I'm going to do it, and then never actually touching oh it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that, well, I'm an only child. Well, well, no. <laughs> While we're on that, do you, is there anything from your childhood that you believe that was t it was totally ridiculous that you remember because I have one. Oh yeah, mm. God, I grew up Catholic. I believed in God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, my friend told me that when we were real little, he's like, "You keep growing and you keep growing and growing, <laughs> and you're gonna be as tall as a like a telephone pole." Whoa. And I was like terrified to be as tall as a telephone pole, <laughs> even though there was no evidence of anyone being that tall. And yeah, it was yeah, everyone on Earth tall. Was just I young. just thought I was, we were yeah. all gonna be that tall. Yeah. Wow. And for some reason, that was like a fear of mine. Like yeah. A, when I was like four years old or something. Whoa. Damn. And, and that's why I'm short size. now, because my brain was like, I <laughs> do do not. can't be this telephone pole. <laughs> you do not grow. <laughs> wow. Of course, there's the watermelon seed. If you eat the watermelon oh, yeah. seed, you're going to grow sure, a watermelon yeah, yeah, in your stomach. You know, I also thought classic. Nostradamus was right about everything, and the world <laughs> was going to end in like, whatever, 2001 or something. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. He, I forgot what the year was. That's the influence of Weekly World kept, News. That's just like it. the older neighbor down the street with the dirt bike. He knew about Nostradamus. <laughs> that Nostradamus freaked me out. And BMX. Yeah, the BMX. Kid. What kind of BMX was it? Do you remember? Um, Dino. Horror. I think it was a Schwinn with the mags. You Schwinn. know those mags? Yeah, yeah. What's a mag? It's like a type of wheel. Like okay. A, no yeah. spokes. It's bike just guy. like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the, like yeah. the three. Okay. What about the disc one that was like just covered? I it's think more that was of a, like a. My brother had that. Gimmick. Slag. Yeah, I don't know if that caught on, but. Yeah. It's not for BMX. Well, looked cool. Yeah, when, I, when I was a kid, I was told that. Um, Richard Gere had the gerbil stuck yeah. in his oh, buttocks, sure, yeah. and yeah. Um, I believe that. Yeah, I did. So I still believe it to this day. And is it true or not? That's the question. <laughs> it's, it's not, not. true. <laughs> <laughs> but how did that spread? Because every kid in, in America, oh, at least, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've that. all heard that. Yeah. And that's pre-internet. It's just like summer camp? Like, what, where are we yeah. talking about it? Where are we spreading the information? Why Richard Gere? Why a gerbil? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so specific. Do you think he did that just to like boost his fame? No, I bet it bummed him out. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. Do you think there's a kernel of truth, and what could it be? Like, was he... He, like, told a story on a podcast, yeah. you know, Maybe got, he, like, blown out of proportion. He had a wiping mishap, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. He and had a he, pet dribble, and, like, <laughs> yeah. they couldn't find missing, it, yeah. so then they just <laughs> accused him. But yeah, yeah. He, he I've looked everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> he put posters up. Yeah, lost gerbil. Yeah, or maybe See if you can like find it. Smear campaign. Like, somebody had it out for him. Yeah. <laughs> You know, smear campaign big, that gives big. meaning to Wasn't the whole like wiping. Wasn't he banned by the Chinese <laughs> government for making a movie about Tibet? Was it like that's true propaganda? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh really? Mm -hmm. 
We're kind of gearheads over here. <laughs> I always say jeer, always. And John is always like, gear. And I'm like, next time. Jeer? Okay. Yeah, jeer. Because it seems like a soft G, you know? Just the spelling. That's an interesting idea. Well, maybe he's French or something. Like gerund or... Right, right, because it's G-E-R-E. Yeah, G-E yeah. is usually a J. Right, right, right. English language. Richard Gere. <laughs> Richard. Richard. Richard Gere. Richard Gere. Richard Gere. Richard Gere. That's how you, yes. we, my people would say it. I, I call him Dick. <laughs> Dick Gere. Dick Gere. Dick Gere. Yeah, there's Dick Gere. <laughs> okay, back Dickie. to the band. Yeah, yeah. Now, I was trying to look up what your belief system was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Can you give us an overview of that? Of that, Claire, go ahead. No, we made a book. Or is that's it, kind of like a vintage concept. Is it something yacht you've concept. talked about a million times in your book? No, it's a no, thing no. like when we were, when we were just when we were just kids. Two thousand nine. When we were just young little kids, we were like very into mystical stuff and like some of the early career yacht recordings were like about mystery and magic and the unknown and paranormal. We were really into cults. All of it. I was like reading a lot of books about cults. Joining them or just, just like, reading about them? Just like what they represent in culture and like how similar they are Not to like them. independent art and music culture in a way. Like, I don't know, we were from the, John and I are from the Pacific Northwest where like being indie or being punk was like pretty intensely judgmental and insular sometimes. So it's like, is that a cult? You know, what well, anyway. So we were playing a lot with cult language and then we started like taking it really seriously and because our fans would take it really seriously, especially the teens that were into the band. So we'd say stuff, and then we'd get emails like, is it okay that I like <laughs> like your band, even though I'm, I believe in God, or whatever, like kind of intense stuff. Or the stuff. reverse, yeah. And I got really into like, oh my God, my responsibility to these kids is to like actually tell them something meaningful so that they're not like led astray by us rock and roll liars. So then I, we wrote a Bible <laughs> that was like kind of, kind of, you know, like weirdo, but also very true about everything that we believe. What are the, some of the tenets? Oh, just like the universe is totally indifferent to yeah. you, so you might as well do what you want. And Richard like, Gere did have a gerbil in his <laughs> butt after all. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. And that like meaning it comes through community, you know, just like actually like punk and DIY ethos stuff, but just yeah. couched in a sort of spiritual language so that it would connect in a different way. And it's, you know, that Bible flew off the shelves. Tell you what. It was a beautiful object great looking thing we have we would only more. sell it at the merch table like yeah. so we could really look at people and talk to them about it well, and what's it called if people want to it's called the secret teachings of the mystery lights there's an ebook on and the mystery the lights ebook store yeah and the I mystery made. lights go back to when you were in marfa yeah mm-hmm. yeah and the mystery lights where are these things <laughs> these mysterious lights that yeah Nailed shine it. out of a mountain a paranormal optical but it phenomenon. turns out it's cars it's not cars nobody knows what it is <laughs> cowboy saw them before cars Really? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. There's there's like Native American years, myths yeah. about it. It's something Robbie, to do with do like the diffraction. I mean, I've seen them. Are you a believer? He just I said believe he's seen I've them. seen them. <laughs> so I believe something is Cowboys out saw them there. before cars? Yeah, Native Americans before cowboys. How do you know? Chamber of Commerce told you right on the little thing. They had it they have records of this? Mm-hmm. We I saw mean, lights. I mean, we yeah. saw lights. Richard Gear <laughs> <laughs> was here. <laughs> That's what it's spelled. I mean, that could be propaganda for all we know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but those are stories that are around. Yeah, there's some historical records. You're saying it's some sort of just light refraction thing. Yeah. It's something to do with like the heat of the desert and the way the light hits and like the mica or like some off gassing of some like mineral. It's a very like seismic region. There's stuff. I mean, there's a lot of reasons, but no one knows for sure. And it's mostly because like no one's really researched. I don't know. There's not been like real funding. So you would make your book that would change teens lives yeah there exactly we go. See? there we go exactly. so did ch- teens lives get changed by you or what yes. man we got an email like <laughs> six months ago about a girl yes. that was in a cult that left a cult thanks to our album shangri-la <laughs> after the sea mystery lights record yeah. what how yeah. and why and what just she took she put meaning on the songs and like found something in it and it changed her life i don't I know i think you don't yeah. even have to be a band that's like using that language to have people have that relationship to music especially teenagers i mean think about when you're a teenager like everything's so important and all the stuff that you like is like your whole deal your whole identity yeah so you know it happens i mean weezer weezer saved my life <laughs> and they we suck saved your life <laughs> what was your first was weezer like your first band that when you were a teen was like yeah, it was that's like super my obsessed with weezer. That's which my is band. hilarious to think about me as like a 13 year old girl like relating so hard to songs about like wanting to like have a girlfriend that never leaves the house, <laughs> like wanting to date a teenager. I'm like, yes, I feel this too. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. But sometimes it's more of just like the feeling 
Like yeah. for me, music is all about. I don't. I don't think about the lyrics too much in mm. general. I'm, it's more of just like. That's cold. It gives you a feeling of melancholy or happiness yeah, yeah. or whatever. Not and it's not the words. Sometimes there's a good song that has like. Like I was listening to like. Blood on the Streets by The Doors came on. Mm-hmm. What, was uh, which that one yesterday? is that? I don't know. It's like, blood on the streets in the city of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> blood on the streets is up to my knees. Wow. wow. But it's all happy. Blood. It's like, bum, 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 yeah, bum. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, that song's like a happy song. But if you look into the lyrics, yeah. this is just one example because I heard it yesterday. It's like, that song is insane. There's blood up to your knees. <laughs> you know how many bodies you would need? In the yeah. streets of Chicago, where, you know, it would, they would they would drink. Like that's a lot of blood, Brent. I mean, it is a lot of blood, but so I'm maybe just, my point is the sound of the the tones and the and the yeah, chords yeah, yeah. are what that's what drives what, your experience. What drives your hundred percent your your connection to it. It could have also just been that the blood splattered a little bit that it got up to his knees. It spattered yeah. got up to the knees. Yeah. yeah, maybe that it was he just... Was standing close to the impact. There's actually not that much blood, but it just happened to get up to his knees area. Okay. You know, the yeah, splatter. Yeah. Or he was just on his knees, you know? True, or he got true. on... Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe he's he's down on bended knee. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe he was proposing. Maybe he made the blood. And he's like happy. <laughs> he's got he's a like, bloody knee. He's like... <laughs> single bloody he killed all these yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, he's like, blood on the streets. Right, right, right. He went on a massacre. Or he just he, or he tripped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he tripped his, his own blood. He, yeah, he skinned his knee. Yeah, you know, yeah. he skinned I his gotta knee. look up these lyrics now. <laughs> but yeah, totally. I mean, I was like, I connected to Weezer on an emotional level, just the angst, you know. Who is yeah. your favorite member? I mean, Rivers, but <laughs> I, that's, I, Pat Wilson, I love it. I think is probably the best guy in Weezer. Hmm. Seems like he's just kind of what down for whatever, is a nice guy. I really liked the um, second bass player, Mikey Welsh. Is that his name? Yeah. Who passed? He was only on the Green album, but he was a very fun addition to the canon, and like was he and Pat had a great rapport. I had I used to run a Weezer fan site when I was a really, but then basically the Green album came out and I was like, (laughs) no, and just everything okay top three Weezer fan site in all the internet. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Geek Rock love. How many people were coming? (laughs) Oh, I don't know, probably eight. But you know, it was the olden days. I used to get like packages like from Geffen and stuff. Yeah. I, okay, let's go around and say you know what, Real all quick, of our. That's, that's kind of a before we do that. That's a good scam. Yeah, you could be like, this is the ultimate, the ultimate whatever fan club or something. Here's yeah. the PO box, and we'll give it to yeah, you, yeah, and yeah. you just keep the stuff. Yep. All right. Anyway, sorry, Brent. Well, let's just go around. And what was your teenage band? That was your, you know, your Weezer for yeah, you know, Claire. Yeah. You know, it was Nirvana teenage. for me. I feel like. Let me guess. Okay. Robbie's. It's probably gonna be something really cool. Yeah, mm. it's gonna be for, like for John Rob? Coltrane or something. No, 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 no. no. no, no. Um, okay, let's go punk rock. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, go like You're Black Flag. I don't know. I'm gonna cast a wide net. Mm. Rollins band. I'm gonna go I more wasn't... melodic. Well, yeah. yeah. Let's let's all go around and guess what my descendants. We're talking like well, high school. Kind of know. High school. You do. Well, what? It doesn't even oh, need to be. I did like. It just you know what the band that was for her. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Weezer. Wait, what yeah, year yeah. are we talking? Like yeah, the, well, first, we, the first, the first, because I, I, I would my, for really me it would be a few different options. On, yeah, you know? exactly. If we're talking like grade school. <laughs> no, I mean just yeah, whatever. Yeah, no, grade what school you before I was cool would be different than coming of age. Yeah, yeah, middle school, middle school, middle school or high school. The first thing that popped in my head when you started that question or was. Dead Milkman and N.W.A. at the same time. Yeah, like, those God, were the two. So cool. nice. Like skateboarding, yeah. listening to like yeah, yeah, Straight Outta Compton uh-huh. and yeah. Big Lizard in my backyard. And, and Nirvana for Jana, yeah. and then I had Nirvana <laughs> brothers, Jana. so I was like really influenced by all their music, which was more like that kind of stuff. They were they were both skaters, but then oh. Nirvana was like the first thing that felt like my own thing. Yeah. That I uh-huh. was into. Yeah. And Doug, my thing was like. Naked Ray Gun, which mm-hmm. was a Chicago punk band yeah. Yeah, yeah. that I cool. like listened to religiously. Like that's cool. all I listened to like my whole freshman year wow. of high school. Cool. But then, bef- but the first punk rock thing I heard was Dead Kennedys. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, this is what I want to listen to. <laughs> yeah. We were just talking about Jello Biafra earlier. What's he doing right now? He's political. He isn't is he? probably doing. Doing like the Rollins thing, where he probably gives a lecture. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We and, saw him in a um, documentary called "Bathtubs Over Broadway." Do you guys know really? about this? Oh yeah, I do know that. The, That's the, the the musicals that they yeah. made for like corporate, yeah, yeah. yeah. industrial, yeah. Oh. industrial oh, musicals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don, Don Bowles really? is in that. Yeah, yes, yeah, Don mm. Bowles is in that. Oh, Don Bowles and Jello Biafra are both collectors of these like rare LPs mm. of these Not for corporate musicals from the yeah. '60s. I feel like we need to protect those two men. And yeah, yeah. yeah. 
There needs to be documentaries about, <laughs> well, about I mean, those yeah, guys. I don't know. Well, <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? With we men, don't know. With men of a certain age, you just you don't know. You just yeah, we don't know. We don't know. Um, as for me, it's uh, Spyro it? Gyra. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So wow. you can move on. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That, I, that you know what? Sense. I effed with Spyro Gyra because I was in the school jazz band. Oh yeah. In, what were you playing? Uh, cornet. Cool. In from like fourth to eighth grade. Mm. So around eighth grade, I was in the. The junior high jazz band. Oh. I remember Spyro Gyra. That was my main band. Yeah, you know, that was my. You know, that was I always confused band. it with Scritti Politti, Spyro Gyra. For some reason, like they seem. You know what I'm talking about? No, I, 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 I mean, I guess they they have that kind of yeah different way different sort of sound. sound you know, two like I mean, random yeah, yeah. words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's the words. Yeah. yeah, it's clearly the words. <laughs> 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 there should be like a smooth jazz like. Um, Greek restaurant called Spyro Euro. <laughs> Spyro, like Spyro, 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 yeah, Euro. Spyro Spyro Euro. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Spyro Gyro, Spyro Gyro was like a toy, though, wasn't it? Like the thing that you draw with that has like the wheels. That's a spirograph. spirograph. Oh, that's a yeah. spirograph. Yeah. Okay. That was well, a spirograph. Well, graph that's up. cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> spirograph. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now you have Mark Marin playing a solo on one of your songs. <laughs> yes, Wait, that's really? technically true. Yes, that's true. Yeah. How did how did that how did you get married? Uh, what is the email? Though? Were you on WTF after we that? We yeah. made like a we weren't like proper guests, but you know sometimes there'll be like a short interview guest. in the front half or something. That was we did that. Huh. Which no one believes me when I say it because I guess. No, it was why, did you want, why, why, why did you want Marin? Why did you want Marin and not say Buckethead? <laughs> <laughs> there was a thing where like the song was like a fundraiser for a campaign against like NSA surveillance. It's like more it's, innocent time. Yeah, Snowden, Snowden time. Snowden era. Yeah. yeah. And he was like big on this like patent troll thing at the time, Marin was. So he was like involved in the sort of internet privacy and security advocacy. Yeah. So it seemed like a, a natural fit at the time. Mm -hmm. And then he came in, shredded and left immediately. Came to our house in Silver Lake and shredded in our living room and yeah. left like 15 minutes later. He did three takes <laughs> and then I cut him up into one take. All the best parts. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I wonder if that's how they did it, like with like Eddie Van Halen's insane solos and stuff. I bet. Take maybe not yeah. certain guitarists, like maybe not his. Maybe not his. Yeah. Did he say a word or was he like, let's no, get this over with? No, he was really <laughs> nice. Did he bring he in was a big nice about stack it. of amps? This was also 10 years ago. It's hard to remember. I think but this yeah. is over 10 years ago. No, it's like exactly ten. I feel like my my iPhoto surfaced a picture of that the other day, and I was like, anyway. "Damn, that's so." This is done. kind of bef um, WTF was taking off, but he wasn't. That was you know, yeah, it was kind of the beginning still, of that. It was still gettable, you know, for it was a little indie rock Barack outfit. Obama. Yeah, it was yeah. pre Barack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. So, you guys had a video that only played while Uber prices were surging. <laughs> <laughs> you really went deep on the Wikipedia. <laughs> Now, why did you? Why did? You, why would? Why only when they're surging? Because people are at home more, not taking those Ubers. You want to go for it? You want to take it? I was gonna say. <laughs> Let me take it. How about Rob? I want Rob to yeah, take it. Yeah, let's get Rob on this one. No, I don't want to take it. Um, <laughs> take it <Rob. laughs> what? Well, I don't know. What? It was a part of a bigger promotional blitz, you yeah. know, of singles for that album, and um, yeah, I don't know what. It was a song about what song was it? It was it's LA Plays itself. itself. Yeah, yeah, so it's like a song about Los Angeles, you know, and all the trappings that you know, one of which being traffic, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so the trappings, if you will. The trappings. <laughs> the trappings. <laughs> uh, so it just seemed like a fun way to unlock this song by playing with, you know, what was an open API, and it's no longer accessible. We did not get money from Uber for that, and no. everyone thought we did, so it was sort of went against. Yeah, that's pub that used to be publicly available. We were trying to punk the API, like but really it just seemed like we were doing Spawn, yeah. yeah, if you will. But we did get nominated for a Webby for that. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> lost them. And you yeah. guys were nominated for a Grammy. True. Yeah. Also mm -hmm. lost We're that. award losers, it's true. Well, you, oh, I am award losers. <laughs> yeah. Just you get the nomination, yeah. but you yeah. don't get the award. So you don't like to say, Honestly, you don't like to say nomina nominee. nominee. You want to just say loser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Grammy losers. Well. Really own it. I mean, well, yeah. we're all yeah. Grammy losers in here. Exactly. exactly. It's, it's kind of like. Yeah. Well, we weren't nominated, though. Yeah, but we still Not yet. lost. <laughs> you have to be no, nominated. You had to, to lose. enter the race, though, to lose. Though. Yeah, you're a Grammy. We didn't even lose. I don't even know what the word We're just Grammy observers. Grammy watcher. Did you enter the race? Yeah. We yes, got, it was oh, so But how did you enter the race? You, it's a whole like process. You had to, no one is just like, no one is just nominated. You have to like 
You uh, have to you submit. Have to say, you got to submit. You got to submit. And you, you have to submit. qualify. And you have to qualify, ah. which that was a big thing for our category. Did, okay, yeah, anyway. you, you had to submit it first, and then they they decide? Or yes. did someone reach out and say, we're talking about you and we want you no. to submit? No, they don't they tell don't you do anything that. until then the nomination is public. Hmm. Yeah. We were like, we, we, we cited a category we felt like we had a chance in. Which was we, we surround created, sound album, which then they <laughs> this year they renamed immersive. to immersive in twenty twenty. We immersive were. audio. We made an immersive audio mix. Dolby we then Atmos. had to because there was basically no way to distribute an immersive audio mix at the time. This is before um, Apple Music, Apple music yeah. made it possible. So we had to create a Blu ray and sell it online to technically qualify by a certain date to be like commercially available immersive audio mix. Yeah, which was like this crazy mad rush of like getting the Blu-ray authored at this Blu-ray place. It was like re- weirdly expensive, and then like making but they stuff gave us a great deal. Thank you for giving us a deal. They were very nice. And then getting it up on like Amazon, I guess technically through our distributor by a certain date, and it was, yeah. everybody was just like rushing and freaking out. We didn't think we were going to make it, and then we did, and then and then we got the nom. And in those categories, <laughs> some of the categories are political, you know, best artist, Absolutely. pop, whatever. And some of them are some just of them are more like too. the people who vote on them are the people who have expertise. You know, so they all the immersive audio mixes they take it to Skywalker, Skywalker Ranch up there in yeah. Marin, and they just listen to all of them, and then they vote like which some one's audio the best. Files just sitting there, like, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> he's sitting like, yeah. in the room, sitting mm-hmm. up there, like with his eyes closed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's nice to know, you know, like that Who, was the, it was one of the was it, Who's not, was it? Surround sound or like, what's going on with that? Does it feel like you're in the middle of a band? <laughs> it's behind you. I never really we did a whole special the, mix uh, that except yeah. during a movie. You know, yeah, that's the only time I get to hear that. Kind yeah, of the thing. drums yeah, yeah. back here, the vocals are up there. Sometimes something Sometimes like that. Sometimes like going all yeah. over the place. Oh, could you do, yeah. do a different drum fill? Snare, snare hits are going back and forth oh, over yeah. here like yeah. this. Yeah, it's a full like crazy spatial thing that you you have like yeah. a, a visualizer that then you can like move sound around in. We did this at Dolby and Burbank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for a week we mixed it. Who yeah. was nominated? Uh, who else was nominated, and who won? Yeah, oh, and do you gosh. think they were deserving? The yes. guy who won had been nominated for that category like thirty times or oh, something, wow. and never yeah. won. And he was like an older guy, and it was like a classical thing. It's yeah. big in the classical world, and like in the sort of I don't know, serious, like contemporary yeah. mu- composing music world. Yeah, we were the only like rocker band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Us. Oh, it was all kind of 20th century kind of composer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was like yeah. Now it's different because like Imagine Dragons type. are doing it and stuff. Yeah. Was it 5.1? It that was, was beyond. It was Dolby Atmos. Yeah. How many is that? It's something That's, different. It's like... Um, 18 one or something? I can't yeah, remember I what know. it is. Oh. But now heard, it's like on your Spotify or... Um, yeah. Apple Music or that. whatever. But it People are releasing before. albums yeah. in that most now. But yeah. we were kind of early adopters. Yeah, we were kind of the first. So. <laughs> I heard Vanilla Ice put out his in Surround Sound 5.0. <laughs> oh, like his car? Yeah. Yeah. Rolling in my 5.0. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I um, do a whole deep dive on. Yeah, I get it. I mean, nothing to giggle. No, I, I just funny. didn't quite understand <laughs> the rep. I like. I loved it. It's a thinker. Let me just say this: I loved it, and I, but I just didn't quite understand the reference until you spelled it out for well, me. I yeah, needed yeah. that help, and I get I it know, now, and I, I really mean, appreciate I like, it. Is that like, an you guys ice know vanilla ice lyrics. Like, why would I expect you guys? I just didn't know that lyric. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know some lyrics. He's an old rap head. Yeah, yeah, from way back. Yeah. He like he loved all the rap greats. NWA, Vanilla Ice. <laughs> they go hand in hand. We just listened to like a whole ass podcast about Vanilla Ice's career and he grew up like in Dallas and was in a breakdancing crew. Shout out to Culture Dumps. <laughs> yeah. Great podcast. You ever watch him on Arsenio Hall, that interview? He's, he's a terrible person, is the thing. But yeah, well, that's kind that of interesting. But that's a very like, that interview, yeah. Actually, I think he's like dun 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 and mine well, is right. dun 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 right, dun right, right. dun dun. No, that yeah. space. It's oh, space. Yeah, dun 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 dun. Yeah. It's like that. It's that the pickup. One more note makes it not it makes it original. No. No. That's straight up. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> dun 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 yeah, dun, yeah. dun dun dun. Yeah, that. Um, sure. But no, Arsenio is pretty hard on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and I think be. actually he plays it off pretty well. Vanilla Ice does, you yeah. know. And, he, and I thought, okay, okay, <laughs> you know, because he was go- going hard on him. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, at that point, Vanilla Ice had sold like more record, like an insane amount of records in yeah. an incredibly short time. Like he'd only been famous for like two months, and he'd sold like eighty bazillion records. And so it was like, I don't know. I don't know. Everybody he was taken taken down. And then there's supposedly the story about you know Sugar Bear, Suge Knight. You know mm-hmm. he um, yep. held him over a balcony <laughs> yeah. supposedly or something uh, like that, yeah. Th- yeah. threatening him. Yeah. Really? By yeah. Supposedly, yeah. 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 Like back in the day or recently? Back back in the, no, day. back in the back then. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because some like, of the tracks. friend of Suge Knight that's how was his like hair uncredited. Got, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Suge Knight was hanging him and he came back up. He's like, you know what? This looks cool. <laughs> that's good. Yo, no, yeah. That's real good. <laughs> the, the origin story of that, like, that pompadour. That is so funny. Pompadour. That's a sketch. That's, and that's, that's like a living, like, that's you know a living what, color, kid, color sketch. Now you got the look. He's like, now you got the look. Jim Carrey has. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Look, I didn't. I did. I did this to help your career. Now you're gonna make it. You know. And he's got. You know what, Shug? I think you're right. That's a funny sketch, yeah. man. That is so funny. We should try to make that. Yeah. That's funny. Um, but uh, I saw this music video of your guys. Is that was. Um, I, so some footage was taken of your faces, and then something they did some kind of mm. thing. How, explain that. You know what? Mm -hmm. I, uh, you're talking about blue on blue. Yeah, oh, faces so. melting. Yes. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What's up? What's going on with that? It, they they showed all the iterations of your face, but yeah. they they Stop didn't. Saying you were, hey, it's just us, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but someone made that, right? Yeah, yeah. This yeah, guy yeah. Mario Klinkerman. Yeah. I mean, who I, I don't know. That's why I don't know who they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, they, yeah. yeah. Who? Mario, Mario Klinkerman. Klinkerman. He's like a yeah. German. Neurographer is what he calls himself. Very noted early AI artist. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. So what's the deal? How does that, how do they do that? They they take yeah. how many expressions did they get, and then oh, how many yeah. did they make? So we shot what like three minutes of each of our faces, mm -hmm. um, separate and together, and then we took like thousands of stills. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and then trained an algorithm on all of those, which was a a GAN algorithm. Yeah, that's a generative adversarial well, network. Oh, okay, hold on. We don't let have me, to get into let that. Let me understand something here. So you take huh? a bunch of photos of different expressions of your face. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And then then what's what is it doing? It's learning what a face is knowing only anything about our faces. So like the yeah. computer model is like patterns. being trained to generate face, but the only faces it's ever seen are the three of ours. So yeah. then it's just like computer generate face. And it's just like, well, it's got to be something between them, some of this. Yeah. Uh, but then it's, as it's doing that, it's sort of tra it's traverse traversing what's called latent space, which is like all the possible yeah. like yeah. iterations in between all our faces. Like yeah. the um, many dimensional If you've taken a thousand, yeah. 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 You've yeah. Taken a thousand photos, yeah. you're getting a lot of in-between shots anyway, right? Yeah, you're getting not, a lot of the iterations. It's not like pulling a still. It's, yeah. it's taking the data points and then like Creating. regenerating. And did it, it yeah. meld... Melded all three of your faces together. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's one face that is a combination of all three of your faces. Yeah, and it's, she's she's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <kidding>. yeah, <laughs> but it's not actually those pictures. It's reassembling the image from scratch using okay. the, using yeah. the real pictures. So what it's we not see like in the video, like in black or okay. white, where it's going from one picture to another. What we see yeah. in the in the video is none of those are actual photos that were taken. Those no, are all correct. that's generated. all new material. The crazy thing is that that is what like four years old now. More. More? Yeah. And the technology that did that is like, it's like light years more advanced now. So that video is a weirdly like specific document of a moment in AI development when things were a little bit janky still. Yeah. And you can tell like the faces get really weird and like there's some like less developed versions that are like really haunted looking. Yeah. Whereas now it would just be like perfect. Like, in 10 years, years it'll perfect. be like the VHS filter on your phone, but like old algorithms will be the hip thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or it's the just like a AI. moment in time. Yeah. It's the, all this stuff is developing really fast, so it's like kind of interesting to hold on to it. You guys are really into technology, I guess, right? Kinda, yeah. Or what? Yeah, you guys are on the always on the cutting edge. Yeah. And I doing guess. mind blowing futuristic Yep. Stuff. Experimental <laughs> Technology, yeah, cutting edge technology. Oh, we're just rockers. Technology. We're just rockers. We're just rockers, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you have a fragrance? Uh, we don't anymore. We sold, <laughs> that's sold out. That's sold out. Uh, rockers have fragrances. <laughs> yeah. Have you heard of well, rockers? Rock rock rockers smell, smell too. <laughs> yeah, rockers smell good. Did they? Was it smell like you just did a gig or yep. something? It's, it's kind of a sweaty sort of post musical show, smell. Musty. Yeah, post show. Yeah, post like, yeah, post it's, show a, it's a. It's met, It's sort of a metallic sound. With, I mean, sm I mean, smell. smell that is. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, yeah. Kind of equipment. It's equipment and sweat. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. What about yeah, that like dive bar smell? You know, where it's like, ten years of. Beer. Sticky floor, yeah. like, Sticky that, like you know that like yeah. musty kind oh, yeah. of. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Cigarettes. No, and all kidding aside, it's really the smell of a SM58 at a club. <laughs> you know, it's that kind AKA of. Yeah. Nards. It's never been bad breath petri dish. Yeah. Smell. The whole microphones yeah. smell like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of a fun fragrance to do like stinky stuff but like make it in a nice like. It, you kind of do that with the jelly bellies. I'm know. sure that's right. been done. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure someone's done that. It's been done. It's been done. Don't bother. <laughs> I mean, they probably, yeah, I'm sure it's been done. You go to a place like Oz, you know, these novelty stores, mm -hmm. yeah. you probably have some Bart sort of spray, perfume that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. skunk perfume or, totally. yeah. you know, 
whatever crotch perfume or something yeah. or crack. Does feel very Spencer's <laughs> crack. Spanish skinfold Eau skinfold. Crack. <laughs> Eau de crack. <laughs> Oda something Eau de crack. is such a '90s like joke <laughs> yeah. form. Yeah. Doug, what's next on the Wikipedia? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going off my notes that I wrote oh, from, the Wikipedia, from, the, Wikipedia. from the Wikipedia. From the Wikipedia. website. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. But Claire wrote, wrote a book called Broadband. That's oh, yeah. true. That's true. <laughs> Sick book. See, you guys are writing books. M- no, we're smart. Books. Yeah. I mean, that, that's what you're driving at. Yeah, we're rockers, just, but we're well, smart. Well, no, here's what I want to get You wouldn't at. think we're smart cause, because we're rockers. Well, I want to know, like, you guys have a lot of information because you're... <laughs> you're oh, looking yeah. into the tech. You know the technology. Yeah, 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 you're, yeah. you're diving deep. Yeah. You're mm-hmm. doing AI. Yeah, yeah, we got secrets. Jonna knows a lot about satellites right now. <laughs> Don't make me talk about satellites. <laughs> I don't know anything Can about satellites. Can you just tell us one thing about mm-hmm. satellites? There's a, the, like, there's a great a string of satellites that serves like Africa, the Middle East, and a lot of Eastern Europe called Hotbird. <laughs> and I just love that name, Hotbird. They called Hotbird? All yeah, the Hotbird hot bird. constellation. Yeah. yeah. Utilsat makes Do them. Do satellites... <laughs> Go at the same speed of Earth, so they're if they're geosynchronous or geo, what's it called? Oh gosh, that my dad just right. told us Gingo's about this. When it's when it's like because it's that's yeah, it's, a it's satellite dish to a point. Is sync, it, yeah, yeah. Aiming at it one moves thing. with the Earth. It's going yeah, exactly geosynchronous. Right there. Yeah, that's geosynchronous. Yeah, yeah, it moves. Or geospatial? No, geosynchronous is right. I think. Yeah. So like you point your satellite dish to 16 degrees east, and that satellite's always there. Yeah. Yeah. Spectrum, it's right up there. Yeah. Yeah. Comcast. Mm-hmm. It's in space. Yeah. There's like thousands of just three thousand TV channels in space. Isn't that weird? Like the that dark matter so of TV. I'm trying to get one of those channels. <laughs> is there unknown channels in space? Oh, <laughs> I That's, mean, wait. Let's get into something. Where else did the Z though, channel like, go? What do you? Yeah. Z- is that in space? Is, is, is it lost in space? Is it lost in space? Like, yeah, yeah, it is in space. Like you know how in the beginning of Contact, it like shows like all the radio signals like going into the universe, and then that's how the aliens find out that we exist. It's mm-hmm. so like channel, Z channels in space. Well, it's kind of like that in Explorers as well. Yeah, right? mm-hmm. Sick movie. they're picking up all those little waves, and that's how they learn the cult. Then yeah. they're just they're just quoting all these shows and things, right? The aliens are. Yeah. You know? yeah, we were just talking about that as a trope, like teen aliens, like playing marbles with the Earth, like at the end of Men in Black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's a couple other things like that where. Well, there's like the Explorers last. What's the, the movie though? where the kid like wins the video game? It's like the '80s movie. Oh, oh Last Wizard? Starfighter. Last Starfighter. Oh, yeah. 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 That is also Explore, a teen Explorers was awesome until those aliens show up you know what i mean <laughs> really they're really? so wet though and it's like really are they scary i kind of remember being scared of <laughs> they're them. like they they're like cheesy they're, they're like really goofy like muppets they have something. like a, oh. and the whole movie's like on their fingers mysterious tips. and they're like going through space and then they find yeah. these like hello, hello. yeah yeah they also have that kind of cool <laughs> almost it looked like computer graphic thing kind of sort of scenes you know that when he's having a dream oh, yeah, yeah. and mm. it's kind of i guess he's kind of a it's almost like some sort of PCB or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's it's That's all geometric great trope, like yeah. computer as city inside of computer. Yeah, city. yeah. Uh, computers, that. computer yeah. generated cities yeah. or scapes. Yeah, mm. computer scapes. Yeah, like Thirteen Floor. Is that that movie? Thirteen Floor. You guys know that good. movie? Yeah, nineteen thirty four. No, the movie's called Thirteenth Floor. Or Thirteenth Floor. It's about like a computer generated version of Los Angeles that the people living inside of don't know that they're in a game, you know, or they're in a simulation. Yeah. They just mm. think they live in like fifties LA, but really they're just a game. And no. then Vincent finally D'Onofrio. like Yeah, finally Vincent D'Onofrio convinces them to drive to the edge of the map and they get to the edge of the map and like the city ends and it's just like this infinite grid of nothingness. And they're yeah, like, We're so not good. real. Better than the Matrix. That was that other movie. I want to see city. 13th floor. Yeah, Dark Night, City. Like I, I love Dark City. Dark City. Yeah, Dark city. I, I had higher whole... hopes for that one. I saw the preview. Oh, no, yeah. it's so good. Well, this is I'm all like, yeah. Like it. I, movies yeah, his, that... his hopes were real high. Well, I guess so. <laughs> I just saw the preview. I thought, oh, this looks cool. But um, maybe I just remember the music being too loud in it or something like that. <laughs> the, the, down. the score. <laughs> no, the score was too loud. Meaning I couldn't hear the dialogue. Brent doesn't like when the score is too loud. That's my pet peeve. I feel that. In movies. Yeah, bad mix. You know what? They have an adjustment now. I no. think on Netflix or something, I saw like an oh, option. Oh, yeah. No, there's a thing for Yeah, where it's like make for, for the, voice. Voice goes up, Yeah, I think. voice goes really? Voice yeah. goes up. Voice goes <laughs> up. Voice goes up. <laughs> Maybe they just right do a little side chain on there's, you know, there's, there's been a couple yeah. articles about how everything's mixed so weird you can't hear dialogue. Everyone's mumbling. So like tons of people watch all TV with closed captions on. Yeah. So this is a direct response to that, I'm sure. I thought I was going deaf because I started I, watching with closed captions on certain shows. I yeah. don't yeah. like that, though. I don't like people True to, season to, two. to watch stuff with captions because I feel like that's not really... The director's yeah, yeah. intention, you know, and it's distracting. You, you, your I focus think they want, is yeah, your focus. Else. You're yeah. looking down at the bottom of the screen, and you're not. I know, but I want to know what in. the hell they're saying. Well, I say yeah, do yeah. that on the second watch. I yes. say. Yes. I say okay, watch There's it no and just watch. experience it on a visceral level. <laughs> and if you can't hear it, that's part of the experience. Yeah. And you just what about take foreign it films though? Pornos. Foreign. Foreign. Oh. Films. <laughs> foreign. Yeah, obviously. Foreign porns. 
Well, foreign films, you have to. You got to learn the but language. The direct, ideally, you have the to director. Learn the language. <laughs> right. Fluently. Don't watch yeah, the That's movie. not what the director St- wanted. Study abroad for one year <laughs> and then go back and watch the movie. No, yeah, live <laughs> there, immerse yourself in the right. culture. I mean, the director ideally would not want you to be reading the subtitles, totally. but that's the only yeah. thing you can do in a situation like that. You know what I do that with is Lemmy show. You guys oh, watch that? Lemmy. Oh, yeah. Well, Brian, he, yeah his Brian accent Lemmy. is so... Yeah, like I'll watch it with subtitles. So Scottish, sick. like super thick Glaswegian. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We watched a lot of that on tour, and I got to a point where we were watching so much of it that I was like, I can understand now. Like, I understand the <laughs> now accent. Now you know the language. Like I can under- I can do it without subtitles now. Yeah. <laughs> when he's talking about the weens, weens and stuff. Are you and less they. techie than them? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe He's less cooler. outwardly techy. I don't. I don't know, man. <laughs> Rob, do you guys want like chips you. in your head? No. no. Oh, fuck no. Are you Let me ask you I this. Want, like, chips I, I thought you were going to offer us <laughs> chips right now in a since, bowl. <laughs> since you are, since you guys know you're so into you know futuristic tech stuff, like yeah. What do you know? <laughs> yeah, what do you know? Okay, you're okay, going to want to no, buy uh, no, no. What, Ethereum, what is, too. What is, uh, you got to get into crypto. No. Do you like what? Is there anything you could warn us about or like anything? You think it's cool coming up, or like what's the news? Okay. Yeah. One bit Besides, black and white dithered video. You going back to old school? Yeah, that hasn't been invented. Don't yet. buy crypto. Apple's making VR goggles that come out in one month. <laughs> John reads all the blogs. Don't re- really don't buy crypto. I think so. Yeah. I mean, we have some crypto, but just because we sold some stuff. We tried to, to do that thing that thing that everybody had tried to do a couple years ago. We tried to do that, too. And then we got a little crypto, and we've just been sitting on it. And you know what? We just bought a pepper grinder at Sur La Tabla with our crypto. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. true Because I was like, this Wait, is a $50 pepper grinder. Pepper grinder. I'm not going to spend real money on oh. this. Pepper grinders are expensive if you want, like, a Peugeot that's going to last you your whole life made out of beautiful wood. <laughs> now, what kind? We got to, to crank on no, top? No, just classic, classic like, French style. Olive Garden, you know? Like I want this. that tall one that's like... Yeah, yeah. Coming up like this. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, hand behind the right head. Right. Behind the head. I want the one that's like... <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like a bassoon. I'm like, <laughs> like this. I'm kind of going like this. Hand behind the head. <laughs> You ever see the Pepper Boy sketch on Saturday Night Live? No. Dana Carvey, Adam Sandler? No. It's my number one favorite sketch. Pepper one of my Boys? favorite sketches of all... P- top five sketches of all time. <laughs> okay. Damn. Dana Carvey, Adam Sandler, the Pepper Boys. <laughs> well, Damn. one of them's the senior Pepper Boy, the other one's the, the junior Pepper Boy, and he's kind of teaching him how to be a Pepper Boy. <laughs> oh, it's very God, fun. Yeah, it's the best. That's, it's that the tracks. best. It's my favorite sketch. Yeah. Why is the Pepper Grinder the tall one? Is it just really full of peppercorns? Sure. Yeah. yeah it's I guess when you're moving that much pepper per night, you don't want to be filling it up as much. It's got a bigger tank. <laughs> you know, it's a long, it's a semi truck. It's but why a long does it have haul. to be long? Can it just be like wider or just? I think it's for show though too. You gotta be able to. You can't have like a like a bulb or what something. Like? <laughs> I think it's possibly. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I want that steering wheel yeah. on top. <laughs> just two, two person <laughs> job. Yeah. Pepper valve. Pepper boys. <sighs> oh, no one ever grinds the salt. Sure you they say do. no one grinds the salt? I, yeah, people grind salt. I've got a, I have a salt that grinds. Yeah? yeah. yeah. My, my salt grinds. My okay, salt grinds. I got that pink right. Himalayan. I got the pink, yeah, I got the pink, yeah. You want to go ahead and yeah. take I that back? I got that Himalayan <laughs> pink. Himalayan. I guess actually everyone grinds the salt. <laughs> you just, but like at a restaurant, they don't come at you with a big salt grinder. No. Because at a restaurant, they you have to assume they salted it correctly. Yeah, they're not pushing they're professionals. Salt. Yeah. Some people can't take the pepper. That's why they even offer it. Right. Got it. Yeah, it is interesting that no, they never offer salt. You know, any? would you like any salt with that? You know, they don't do <laughs> that rude. at restaurants. Yeah. No, because there's already so m- They put so much salt in it. That's yeah. why it tastes good at restaurants. Well, yeah. Some t- I mean, sometimes, you know. They, do you guys go out to restaurants a lot? I like to go out to restaurants less now than I used to and less than Jonna, for sure. Are you guys into Soylent? No. No. <laughs> Although, be- briefly. <clears throat> I fucked with the powder. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was going on? You didn't want... You like, back thought, in the day, pre-packaged. This I is, wanted to be a slim boy, and I just wanted to, like, have a slim, nice figure, and I, so I, was, I thought I could uh, just eat It didn't have to do day. with to- uh, time, you know? Just, I don't have no. time to eat. I mean, I'm just going to drink this. I got all the time one. in the world. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> no, no. Uh, sometimes I, like, feel resentful of my body that it has to eat, and so, I don't know, maybe that was a little bit of it. Oh, okay, yeah. He wanted eat. to be efficient, but healthy. Yeah. If, I was thinking about this it's the awful, other day. Though. Yeah. If you could d- pick to to not have to eat, but you can eat and you'll enjoy it mm. and you'll feel satisfied, but you don't have to eat. Yeah. Would you do that? That's like the movie Defending Your Life, where you can eat anything and everything tastes way better than it did on Earth. And you never afterlife. gain a pound. And you never gain a pound. 
So why would you eat? Is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I would. I love food and I love cooking, but I would be fine just like not eating until I was in the mood. You know? Yeah. I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. you kind of just. Sometimes it is a little bit of a task you have to take care of that you. Yeah. It's the dishes. If you could, it's the dishes for me. Oh, and that too. Yeah. yeah. What about bathroom? I was just going there next. <laughs> of course, we are. So if you didn't have to bathroom, if you didn't have yeah. to go poo or pee, yeah, yeah. would you just pick that? Would you poo or pee? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> I would opt out of that. No problem. Open up that bathroom, make that a little man cave. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That'd be sweet. Put a little mini fridge in there. Yeah, arcade cabinet. I hate peeing. <laughs> Game room. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind pooping, but I hate peeing. Well, I guess my, yeah. Uh -huh. The real question is, do you guys find pleasure <laughs> yeah, in peeing? Yeah, there's so much peeing. Yeah, like, yeah. Do you guys find pleasure in? Sure. Yeah. I have to pee all the time. I have to pee right now. I have to pee every 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Do you I find pleasure? You're allowed, you're allowed to excuse yourself. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I find pleasure in relief, and that's so. It's just a. That's a, the relief. It's the relief. Yeah, the it's pleasure. just the relief. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you think food is the relief of ending the hunger? Sure. Yeah. 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 Or like. If if you're addicted to sugar or caffeine, it's just like making that thing happen. Yeah. Which is but it's lot. also a sex thing for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it kind of goes. You ever heard of Rude Food? <laughs> Sick book. Have yeah, you seen Rude Food? So, so no. Rude Food? Is that a thing? You're, you're going to want to pull that up. Yeah. I mean later. Maybe later. Oh, it's a it little bit It's a little bit Is that horny. unzipped? In my Rude Food is a book. It's not that unzipped. It's it's, no, it's not. That we like saw at in, a bookstore when we were on tour in Australia and didn't buy it, and then we're like, oh, we have to buy it. We ended up buying it online. It's like... We, we couldn't stop thinking about it. A by photography David book. Yeah. You'll it's, recognize it's, it when you see it. It's a photo book. Is it's it a just photo about, book. Is it food that looks here. like yeah. penises it's and stuff? It's like rude presentations of... Yes, yes. Or, just, or is it carrots <laughs> sticking out of a vagina? It's like, you know, imagine like a no. Dover sole like split sideways with like a little like moose so it looks like a vagina. <laughs> or like... Oh, I see. Hot dogs. It is rude stuff. It's like 1980s studio photography. Like a jello mold on on someone's yeah. butt. Yeah. Oh, um, it is like that. Oh, yeah. they're using like real parts. Like holding two mm -hmm. breeze yeah, in almost. front of your boobs, like a bra. Okay. Like that kind so of it is a mix of food looking <laughs> like stuff and then also it's like using horny, actual horny food styling right. basically yeah 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 you know rude got it yeah, yeah there's two check out the food R. and rude food check out the R and rude food though the logo it's like check this out you see what's going on here Brent <laughs> Huh? You understand? <laughs> what is yeah. that? Is that some yeah? That's sort the of... fun. that's the one I was talking about. The Dover sole. It's like he's like it's finger. This... You finger it. Yeah, yeah. There's some kale around. Huh. Some bushy kale. Is that kale? supposed to look like just sort of? Uh, sort of I don't know what, sort what that. You tell me. You tell me. A, a fish. <laughs> Check the R out and root. I'm looking at it. I don't oh, see. there's a in no, the. Wait, in... we can see. It. Yeah, the R. No, I don't think. I think it's on the logo. It's funny that it's on. You're maybe, on, maybe on the, the back of the book. video. There's a th there's a logo on the inside of the book where like the R looks like a. It's button. an outline of a woman with well, like look, a boob. It's out of butt. it's out of stock. Oh, okay. it's very out of stock. If it you ever see that pop up, you guys up, have it. We bought it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I saw it like <laughs> on some like used book Instagram account. And it was going for a lot of money. Man, will you please just Google Rude Food logo? I don't think that's something <laughs> that can be easily found. I hope. Okay. So wait, what's broadband about? Um, it's a history of women in computing. <laughs> Huh. It's very rude. The first one, wasn't it? No, it's, I don't know. No, that's fine. <laughs> no, oh, that's <laughs> funny. Is uncomfortable that you're <laughs> looking at my that second computer one? from like the... F I can see all your tab names. <laughs> yeah, I can see your tabs, man. Uh, Danny DeVito uh, fan site here. <laughs> I see that. Oh, oh look, Danny this DeVito. This is all we got, man. Danny okay. DeVito. No, feet. Can we Virtual not, can we not like Google yeah. image search on a podcast? No, it's not it. It's not it. It ain't it. Damn. We'll find it for you. We'll send it to you. So uh, I, may, I vectorized it. I the broadband women in computing, <laughs> and, and what is this all about? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a history of women uh, in how computing. Did you, how did you research that, and who did you interview? Yeah, I interviewed like hundreds of people. Wow. I've I've been like a day job, not day job, but like maybe side hustle Night journalist job. for <laughs> I don't even know. Technically, music is my day job, but. Um, I've been a journalist for many years, so this book is a culmination of some I'm of my work. I'm a journalist too. Every morning, I write, I write my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. If you're journaling? Are you a journalist? <laughs> <laughs> Dear journal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's it's uh, research into the contributions of women in computing, both both that were like significant enough to be remembered and which were ignored. Did you get into this at all? Because something I'm really I know a lot about is video game music from the '80s and yeah. and, and and early '90s, and um, a lot of the composers back then who were cr creating the music through, uh, you know, coding basically, it was mm -hmm. uh, were women. Ooh. A lot of them were women uh, in the early to mid twenties too. I didn't know that. And it's just the women out of college and the nineteen twenties. <laughs> yeah, women from their in their 1920s. Yeah, <laughs> um, women, that were, women that were women that were 1920 years old. <laughs> but there were there was all these women that all these 
a prolific composers. I did not know And they're all these games. Street Fighter 2 was a mm. female composer and all these famous games. Huh. Mega Man. All, you, all these famous ones. Ghosts and Goblins. And um, One more, one more. Yeah. Name one, one more. One, one, one more Legendary Wings. Don't know it. Is that Neo Geo? Wings. No, it was, I've that heard was, of those it was a Capcom um, game. Capcom had a lot of oh, women. What? I've heard about those that dish at Wild Wings. Pi- <laughs> 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 it's well. It's a, there, there's this. There's this. There's, there's, a myth about, there's a myth. I've heard about, about that, that dish at Chili's. I've heard about it, but I've never <laughs> seen it though. Yeah. Um, That's cool. I didn't know that. And uh, and but so that I don't know. For some reason, there was a a lot in that space, you know. And so yeah. Well, generally speaking, uh, areas of technology that are not considered to have status or are taken seriously tend to be where women concentrate, especially in the early development. So, so like, that's that. that something might that's kind of like of an that. afterthought where people are like, oh, that's. If we don't care who does that, then the person that does that, the people that do that, the women that do that, do a really good job. And then it's like, oh, it's actually really important and we really care about it. And now now men can do this job. I think like in, programming was like that. Yeah. Well, I think in, in, yeah, in 87 or 88, I think the entire sound team uh, at Capcom was all women. Mm, there you go. Wow. A lot of women had to do with like space stuff. Space, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The moon, right, Sally, right. The moon, land, the moon launch, maybe? Am I right? Or am I... <laughs> yeah, they were oh, doing, like, fake. the calculations. Yeah. So, wait, yeah. that's the moon landing. Yeah. That's fake, right? the moon Do you believe it's fake. real? Yeah. The moon landing is <laughs> fake, but the women who, who did it were real. Their calculations were sound, but they... The women who faked the moon landing... <laughs> <laughs> the women who... F- Do not erase them. Oh, wait, that's they're not fake. Earth. The real women, you know how literally. They say the that, women you know how they say, like, the moon landing can't be fake because... How could people keep a secret? Mm. Now that I know these women are involved, no way. <laughs> no <keep> way. A <laughs> bunch of chatterboxes, right? Yeah. They're such yeah. gossipers. True. Women be gossiping. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. Women be gossiping. Women be coding. Just kidding, Jenny. <laughs> women be There's gossiping. a listener back here. Shout out to Jenny. Shout out, Shout to, out Jenny. to Jenny. She's a woman. She might show up on Unzip. I kind of, yes, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's kind of cool that there's a kind of this audience right here in in back. It's, you know, it's just, yeah. that's cool. Welcome yeah. to my world. It's kind of just, a, it's kind of comforting, you know, that there's another person here. Do you guys ever I get wish they would clap, though. <laughs> or laugh. Or laugh. Or laugh. No. She's been laughing. <laughs> Do you ever get into like <laughs> Suzanne Siani? Is that yeah, her yeah. Name? yeah? I interviewed Gianni. her once at the LA Public really? Library. She's amazing. Yeah. She like. I mean, she, yeah. Talk about women. And Just like watch her videos of her making <sighs> pinball music, mm-hmm. and, or like oh. on Letterman. It's Dude, like, the, she made the she Coca-Cola cool. sound that's like bubbles popping. That's like the best synthesizer music ever. Huh. She made a lot of audio, like Wait, commercial what? audio. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look that the, up. Yeah. The iconic Coca-Cola pop fizz. I think is yes, what it's called. That's what it's called. Mm. Pop fizz. It's just a sound effect that she did with her bukla in the early yeah. 80s that was used in a bunch of Coke commercials. That's why she was able to like basically move to Bolinas and make piano music for 25 years. And <laughs> she now got that she's Coke money. She's um, back on the circuit because people recognize her contributions to electronic music. But very glamorous lady. When did this book come out? Uh, 2018? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, 2018. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. How big it's, is yeah, it? I think I found How it. big is the book? Like, yeah. basically? <laughs> uh, it's like... 300? Uh, you know, like pretty much standard yeah. book size. Dude, I <laughs> okay. love it. Hardcover or soft cover? <laughs> I hear yeah. the headphones on. Yeah. The soft cover is Aaron, a little bit smaller. I'm going to plug No, you, that was loud enough. You could just. I heard it. it. We all heard it. Well, I'm talking about on the Poundcast. Yeah, they heard it. Oh. I think they heard it. It was pretty loud. That's the way to do it. That's easier. There you go. You don't know, Brent. You don't know what these mics are doing. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. That's well, exactly why are you how you do it. You're so against me plugging in and you get the full audio. Oh, do what you like. Lo- do what you please. Because this is funnier. So against it. No, no, no. Do what you please. Play it. Coca-Cola pop and pour. Iconic. Whoa. That. Coca-Cola and that's it. pop and pour. Coca-Cola pop time. and pour. So she went on Letterman once and like played. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. that's, she's that got a really cool. She's like braids, super tan, wearing like a onesie. Yeah. That's amazing. And she's and she's still playing now. When was the, now? When was that from? I don't know. Eighties, mm. I think. Early eighties. Pop and pour Coca Cola logo. Suzanne Chiani. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know. I think it's early eighties. <laughs> <laughs> you mean this one? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, we could, but it was used for all the commercials. I could look it up, but yeah, yeah. it's definitely I bet, 80s or early. I bet it's early. Earlier. I bet it's yeah, like late 70s. 70s. I wish I remember. 70s. Yeah. When I interviewed her, I t- asked her about like doing commercial music, and she was like, yeah, I wasn't making any money, or like I wasn't being respected in like the New York like or San Francisco like experimental music scene, so I just put my bukla in the back of my Miata and drove to LA, and then like got rich making <laughs> Not money. Miata. It was something. Was it? It was or a con- convertible. Yeah, convertible. What's a bukla? <laughs> it's a very esoteric that's synthesizer, a like a really early synthesizer that's pretty impossible to play and has like lots of patches and cables. Oh, yeah. it. It's a modular, yeah. Russian? No, uh, no. American. American. The guy's name was like Don Bukla. Don, Don Bukla, yeah. yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah. Um, okay. Anything else we got to cover? We <laughs> rounding out the episode pretty soon. Here. <laughs> um, What's like the most recent thing on our Wikipedia page that you could find? <laughs> oh, maybe not actually. Oh, I can. Di- <laughs> I could go to your Wikipedia if you want. No, no, no. no, 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 no mind, I mean, look, I found some stuff on there that I'm. <laughs> He yeah. didn't. It's not just the Wikipedia. You know, I'm picking no. and choosing yeah, certain yeah, no. topics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no. I see you. <laughs> I see you. I see you. Now, what was the fragrance, though? We didn't really get into that. Yeah, okay. So there is a, <laughs> there's a perfumer in Portland, Oregon called Olo. And yeah, we partnered with her and made this fragrance that smelled like you had a great description of it of like it was like the night after yeah uh, it was in an ear it was for an album that we were doing that was like all about utopia like the idea of utopia and so the perfume was supposed to be like the morning after like a bacchanalian ritual at some like ancient grecian temple so it's supposed to smell like burnt flowers like flowers and oils but also like smoke yeah it was a smoky smell like a little bit of like a cult spiritual like Maybe some, maybe like a dark undercurrent. Everyone told us it smelled like hot dogs. <laughs> That's not true. That's so rude. I love the smell of it, but whenever I was at the merch table, people would be like, "Smell like hot dogs." Which I found a hot very... dog on the sidewalk yesterday. I saw those. Damn. I saw those pictures. It's so crazy. You it was it? just Whoops. a b- hot dog with no, nothing else, no mustard or anything, yeah, no yeah. bun, just a hot dog on the sidewalk. You ever see oh. that? How we- I said wow. si- sidewalk just, just now. Sidewalk. Yeah. It, it was so weird. It must have slipped out of the bun. It was so, I just can't, I don't know how a hot dog by itself just was, ended yeah, up on the yeah. sidewalk. Well, it maybe was so, Yes, maybe someone's got their pinks and they're like, they're like, <laughs> it like spilled out and, and it popped and it, it popped out of the bun. And go, it was just so yeah. weird. It, was a, it, it was such a clean looking dog and it was cooked. Oh, how yeah. did that happen? What's, uh, <laughs> was it residential neighborhood? Or? No, it was a, I think it was maybe an, some it, rat or something was running with it and some birds swooped down. Maybe a bite taken out It so clean. No bites. Somebody had a hot dog and it's just a dry bun with no factory. sauce, and they were just holding it real yeah, loose and floppy. Somebody had a bucket of dogs, and one of them yeah, bounced yeah. out. And they were walking <laughs> with it, and real was floppy there a and crack loose. in the sidewalk. <laughs> Do you see any banana peels? <laughs> nah, no, nah, but that's that could be the new Maybe banana you're, peels. You're gonna show up on a hidden prank show. <laughs> Look what this guy! He can't believe this dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking pictures. <laughs> but you guys don't eat hot dogs. Hidden right? prank show. No. Eat tofu I mean, pup. Vegan hot dogs. Fuck with a tofu pup. Yeah. Like a Beyond, like a Impossible Sausage, whatever. Do they even make an Impossible Hot Dog? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A sausage. They call it a sausage, not okay. a hot dog. Yeah. An impossible Those dog. Those yeah. are good. Yeah. <laughs> a Beyond Dog. I do want to talk about vegan stuff with you guys, but we can wrap it up soon. But we yeah. Well, also, I, I was curious about, um, well... Uh, something about something maybe the smell <laughs> of the of the of the fragrance you know yeah is it for men and women or? yeah yeah unisex. it's unisex yeah, yeah, yeah hot dogs are for everybody well okay let's talk about what's next mm. oh yeah okay. you have a new video out called finger in my eye your, your eye your eye, your eye. Yeah. and Directed. clay our friend clay tatum made yeah. the video yeah. clay tatum yeah. made the video there's a lot of fun cameos in it oh yeah sharplings mm-hmm. in it i saw sharpling <laughs> yeah. i saw um the guy from Eve Six, <laughs> yeah, Somehow Max really Collins, popular with people absolutely now. Absolutely a yeah. darling people man. People love him. Yeah. John had played with Eve Six when he was like a b- but a boy. When Wait, I was what? in a pop punk band, we pl- we opened up. You for opened Eve for Six. Eve Six, yeah. We've seen Me it all. We've done it all. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was really sweet. John goes back to you like not yet, not yet. <laughs> we didn't even barely talk about your music histories, cool. but maybe okay. when the last time you were on, maybe you talked. When did you on here before? Like, yeah, that was yeah. like ten years ago. Like literally 10 years that was back in Marin days. You know, that was in Atwater Village. It was pre Marin. Yeah, that was in the office, and I wasn't there. But yeah, you, that was that pre no, Brent? I don't think I was there. Johnny it could have been pre Brent. No, it wasn't pre. I mean, it wasn't no, exactly pre me because I think I was on the second episode, but I wasn't on regularly. Is what, what I'm talking about. Yeah, regular. Yeah, yeah. I remember huh. you being really. I do, I'm pretty Damn. sure I wasn't there, but um, for us. it was one of the early episodes. It could have even been the first episode. I don't think. I don't think so. Don't so think. No. The first I episode. So. I mean, we was, are ahead of our time. I think so. it was. I think it was Juice Box. Oh, the best. The best. Mikey Cameron. I think. Do you read his? mailing list his newsletter juice boxes newsletter john's called, music blog yeah it's called john's music blog shout out it's, it's, juice boxes. it's a sub stack sub stack i read music his blog. articles he writes and his new music is cool too rust, rust belt, belt. Yeah. I, look, I have a sticker. sticker i have a sticker right yeah. here you got the cup i got the cup <laughs> i got the his merch was a, a cup but like a, like movie, a, a movie theater fountain drink yeah. cup <laughs> Shout out with to lid Jesus. and straw. His music blog is so awesome. Shout he just like interviews like the woman who DJs at Milwaukee Bucks games and stuff. It's incredible. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's the best. Wait, so, so what, what is happened? next? Yeah, yeah. What oh, is next? Um, <laughs> we're pivoting to video. <laughs> we're working on this like huge project which we sort of legally can't talk about. Can't talk about. But I, we can tease. Yeah, we're we making s- a. Can we say that what it is? We're making a video game. 
We're making a video game. Brent. And Brent, we want you to be a part of it. Okay. That's like, okay, well, this isn't the 1980s, so I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, well, I don't 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 want to say, I don't don't know what I can say. (laughs) Dude, Tetris is awesome. You want to go see opening night? (laughs) Is it okay to say that that what kind of sensibility it is? Uh, Yeah, it's kind of like, have you seen the movie Buckaroo Banzai? Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like that. It's kind of like that. That's one of my favorite um, credit sequences. Yes, in, in, in walking in down the alley river. I love that. Music. I love the music that in that. Music. There's the a like five hour that. version of that on YouTube that we'll oh, put on that when it's we're cleaning the house. I just I love that they're walking. It doesn't have anything to do with the movie really. They no. just had this different whole sequence. Even. Yeah, yeah, different costumes. Yeah. yeah, I love that sequence. It's perfect. that and the the credits to Dune are my fa- mm. two, my, my two my favorites. Lynch is Dune. Yeah, I can't remember what's the deal. The credits are so good. It shows these weird. They're these. They're kind of posing. It's, it's the different characters in the movie, and it, each one has their own fr- uh, scr- uh, title or what a screen yeah. or whatever. Yeah, and they're kind of posing for portraits almost. Oh. But I could see that they're some of them are kind of moving a little bit, and I'm thinking these aren't still frames. They're yeah, actually yeah. just sitting there posing. Oh, wow. It's so weird. And but the ocean is in the background, so they're superimposed on top of the what? ocean, and they're just doing these weird poses that are not from the movie by the way yeah. also they what there's an ocean there's no ocean in Dune in, at the end there's this some kind of, I mean in the credits there's just an ocean in the background and Whoa. they're posing for these things and then a couple of them are, are freeze frames from the movie because I think they couldn't get them for this thing but what a weird decision to say well let's get people to pose for these portraits for the credits <laughs> yeah can't it's get all the idea. Cool. let's keep going let's just do it is and it the opening m- credits the end credits and yeah. it's oh, well, also I made it that far. <laughs> oh really and it's the the music is really good too for that end credits is by Toto I'm gonna watch that really oh yeah I in 10 minutes that. I'm gonna go watch it's that it's really good damn my one of my that and Buckaroo Banzai yeah. oh yeah, yeah. alright let's go around real quick what do you recommend for end credits it could wise. be music no, just kidding. movies mm. anything food mm. TV mm. oh boy one item one you can item. say nothing no, oh no, gosh, no, no. no there's got to be something we like. Uh, okay, a cheeseburger. I like a cheeseburger from Monty's Good Burger. <laughs> from Monty's Good Burger? Yeah, that's my favorite burger in, Korea Korea town? in the world. Uh, you don't have Echo to go to Koreatown. You can go to the Echo Park. I've been oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. I've been to Monty's a few I didn't know times. they had any that, other ones. Yeah. That's like a... You have to, it it's has my to be a ver- special treat. It's my very... You can only yeah, go there like treat. once a month. Yeah. Yeah. It's heavy. And those And you can only get the tots like once every two months. Yeah. Easy on those tots. Easy on those tots. But that cheeseburger, my favorite cheeseburger in the world. Rob? Oh, yeah. Um, the first thing that popped in my head is an Instagram account called Book of Weirdos. <laughs> Book of Weirdos? Yeah, my friend Brooke Caballero makes these cool drawings. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Check it out. What kind of weirdos are they? You have to log into your Instagram account <laughs> to find out. All sorts of weirdos. Damn, that sounds cool. Yeah. Is it better than Kook Slams? <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Kook Slams is fun. Yeah, no, it's actually Kook Slams kind of fell off. Yeah, I haven't really been. They're doing it, anyone that trips over anything now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Claire, what's your recommendation? Uh, walking to the library. <laughs> I'm 300 years old. Um, no, I like getting books in the library. It's for free. So you can have as many books as you want. Doesn't and have then to be you a book. return them when you're done with them. And also, it doesn't even have to be a book. You get a DVD. You can get a PlayStation game. You can get an audio tape. You can get a um, California <laughs> State Park. There you go. Parking pass. You there can. You, you can get binoculars so you can go I've been birding. going to my library, and they have ukuleles you can check out. Whoa. That's a thing. I saw that. Yeah. Wow. Um, which I don't like. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it's, weird it's that cool it's to know ukuleles. that they have. Yeah, yeah. And I've been using the apps. Do you use Hoopla? I use oh, Hoopla. And, uh, I use Canopy. 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 What's Canopy? Oh, it's I like use a, Libby. What's Canopy? Canopy's Canopy's just for uh, TV and movies. movies. Oh, but goodness. it like has oh, more. Of an, it's got more of an catalog. art house twist. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. I love Bloody going in person to the library, picking up my holds, like just being like, "Hey, what's up?" You know, like in the in the do mix. You, do you prefer in the mix? Yeah. Now you're talking my speed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's um, up? Do you prefer the you know tangible books or a book on a? I prefer a tangible book. book on a stick. <laughs> book on a stick. <laughs> book on a, a rope. Book on a stick. Or like those, yeah. Um, I like book it's on a so stick. It's dumb. <laughs> Why would you want a book on a stick? You would not, like you, the pages do dirty. you just want the book regular or do you want book on a stick? <laughs> you going like this? Like, yeah, you so you turn it like this. That's how you do the page. <laughs> yeah, you got to oh like gosh. flick it just right. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like a scroll game, yeah. or like or like. Yeah, what if it was like, imagine a Rolodex. Yeah. And it's just dangling down. You have to go. It slaps the next one. I'd be cool to read a book in a Rolodex form. And then what if 
like, yeah, that. like that, that latch is like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? When the, when the day changes, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you're reading it, you're like, okay, that's done. <laughs> 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 That'd be a cool book on a stick. Just give it a flick. <laughs> so you need kind of just give it a flick. Solid book pages. On a stick. <laughs> just give, just it, a give flick. it a flick. Book on a stick. Just, yeah. <laughs> Book on a stick. Just give it a flick. And, yeah. I'm just gonna write that down. That's pretty good. I'm stealing it. That could be a good sketch too. Yeah. Yeah. Book on a stick. It could be a good living color sketch, maybe. <laughs> That's feeling more like Mad TV. <laughs> no, I know, I know. <laughs> Gonna bring. Brent, do you recommend? Book. I, you know, yeah, what, I don't do even recommend? have anything. Well, do I have any recommendations think, for something I'll, to I'll check out? I'll find something. I'll think of I, something. Check out um, "Finger in Your Eye." Yeah. yeah. Check out. Check that out. Check out the audio. Check out the video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Check out those. Oh, we new got York another singles. one too. That's wait. Can I do a second recommendation? Oh yeah. We got another song too called Manic Panic. Oh, Manic oh, Panic. Yeah. It's called Manic Panic. Yeah. They're playing it's that on the it. radio too. It's true. Oh yeah. Is that They're the one on with radio Alex? Too. Uh, what's <laughs> on his BBC name? Two? Uh, the, he's in no, the No, that's that's an older one. That's called My Idea. My oh, idea. but that's not that old, is it? Check no, that just out like, too, just, if you want. That's December. You can also check out My oh, it's, Idea. It's three whole ye- months old. We got, we got, we got oh. three singles now. <laughs> yeah, we're just cranking them out. Yeah, you're cranking them out. Just take them okay, all so out, you know? Just go ahead and cool hit, hit, up, hit up Spotify. Just go most recent, you know, by most recent. <laughs> <laughs> Try those last three to give them a taste. Yeah, those, those are the new, the fresh new singles. Fresh new singles. Craft singles. It's the new craft singles from Yacht. <laughs> um, the, uh, Killing it. That's, uh, well, look, I mean, uh, anything else to recommend to check out? Mm. Uh, I'll yeah. find something here. Um, <laughs> yeah, oof. we could just cut this part. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I got one more. No, we don't have to oh, cut yeah. this part. <laughs> Business Costco Center. Business Center Costco. North Costco Ho- Business Center. Costco Business Center, North Hollywood. It's a special location. You can get seltzers there. I know I know you don't drink seltzer, but you can get seltzers there made by a Pacific Northwest brand called Talking Rain. It's the best deal you can get on canned seltzer in all of Los Angeles. Back up. Where 25 do you get cents it? a can. Business Center, Costco, North Hollywood. Costco Business Center. Costco <laughs> Business Center, North you Hollywood. You get a factor in the dr- extra driving. Yeah, yeah I think true. it still works out. Do you well, like if you're in the area. It still you know? works out. You just go if you're in the area. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're in the area, you're doing something else. I'm going to recommend Remainders. Yeah, I love Remainders. I was at Remainders yesterday. No way. Yeah. What, are you, what are you getting at Remainders? I didn't, you don't strike me as a should have wore. I should have worn one of my pieces, but I've been making, uh, I've been altering my clothes with zippers. I showed Robbie Holy and Jenny. Holy cool. Oh, cool. And I made labels on Etsy. You could like, yeah. they ship from Bulgaria. They come in. Hell yeah. So I, mean, I make clothing that- labels and I've been making like, I've just been putting like pockets and zippers on my, Fuck yeah. on my, uh, Pullovers. We were just there. Yesterday. And Remainders we, is a thrift store in Pasadena that has arts and crafts stuff. And they have tons of um, fabrics. And Bobby Birdman was showed me one of his paintings that he painted on a big piece of like camouflage tarp that oh, he got from Remainders. That's true. I've been getting lots of fabric from a lot of Remainders. Fabric. Wait, what do you that's guys cool. get at Remainders? All kinds of stuff. I'm really for this video sewing. game. We just got a bunch of things. Fabrics, really? Yeah. Yeah, like game needs feathers and balls. And <laughs> really? There's yeah. you're, you're oh, like confetti. Yeah. It's <laughs> for the game, you're yeah, getting game. you're getting all these. We're going to remainders for the hard, game. Hard, hard materials. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting. I also get a lot of fabric because I sew. And yeah. I like to buy patterns there. I like to buy beads there. I like to just oh. go there. What do you sew? And all kinds of stuff. Am I wearing? No, no, I'm not. I can. <laughs> this, these are the things I can sew. I can sew a pair of shorts, a from shirt. Scratch? Yeah, from scratch. A shirt. I made a dress once. I can make my own underwear. That's new. That's not sexy. It's I just utilitarian. <laughs> yeah, I'm teaching myself how to sew from patterns. It's really hard, but fun. I got some dead stock iron-on letters, Cooper Bold, and I made a shirt. It's great. Did you make that shirt? Not this shirt. Oh. No. <laughs> You're covering it up. <laughs> Remainders is cool, and every time we go there, it's like popping. Like there's yeah. always so many cool it's ladies scene. just like yeah, filling their buckets. Over there. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. You get lots of good like yeah printer paper and stuff, all different colors. Index cards. Yeah. Stationery. The poor lady in the back really wanted a break, but then somebody didn't cover for her. Damn. And she reluctantly measured out my fabrics. <laughs> she was nice about it. Yeah. But <laughs> it was kind of a little moment there with her Aww. and someone else. And, well, I wish I left 20 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you should volunteer. I don't want to talk crap about remainders. They're real nice. It's all volunteers. <laughs> I know. I guess I have a recommendation. Um, there's this restaurant. It's called Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> it's, I don't know. They got a lot of stuff there. I've never been, but supposedly they got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I know this factory called Cheesecake Restaurant. <laughs> 
How about the old spaghetti factory? Yeah. What happened to that? It's still around, isn't it? Is it? Just not like just, at the American. There used to be one oh. on Sunset Boulevard, but yeah, it's yeah. not there. I remember there was someone squatting in front of there, maybe trying to go poo or something. I feel like you got to go deep into the burbs of yeah different cities. You'll find Have you'll either, find them on the way from the airport yeah. to like your destination. Have you been to the San Antonio Winery? I feel like that's an old spaghetti factory oh. kind of place. Oh, is that the one that's like downtown? Like yeah, like right off the ten. I've always Can you wanted go to go in there? Yeah. yeah, there's a full-on like spaghetti restaurant there. You yeah. know what I'm oh. excited about? Actually, speaking of restaurants, this is a real recommendation. Mm. There used to be a restaurant called Baru. Do you guys remember it? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was a sort of a Korean fusion, although I, I feel like that's not a good description because it was just really unique food. And yeah. the chef is Korean, but he just, I, I don't know, it, to me, it didn't seem like Korean food really, but... Um, I loved it, and that closed, and then he opened a place called uh, Baru Canteen, and that was really good, too. And then he opened this place in downtown that was different from those other places. But anyway, Baru's coming back. I heard heard it's coming back, and I'm really excited about that. Where? I'm not sure where, but I think it's in June it's going to be open again. Where was it? It was Santa Monica, right? where? On Santa Monica. Oh, there was a GoFundMe for it, I guess. Yeah, or know. there is still. Uh, is it still current? Look, but it was right. used to be on that GoFundMe. It used yeah. to be on Santa Monica yeah. and um, East near Hollywood. Van Ness or yeah. something around there. That's where the old location was. I don't know where the new one is, but the, it's so good. And if it's any, I mean, if it's bar was coming back, I can only recommend it. Yeah, it's yeah. so yeah, good. It's one cool. of my favorites. June's gonna be big. I got a feeling that June is gonna be big. Yeah, the Mendocino Farms is opening in Highland Park. <laughs> Have you been to that vegan deli called? Oh, uh, um, yeah, Macy's? that's walking distance from our house. We go there all the time. Love that place. Love that, it. That is legit. Vidiots is opening June first. Oh yeah, I'm that's huge. About that. Yeah, yeah. We got what? Mendo. Got Vidiots. <laughs> A lot of fun Mendo. stuff. Every bar is coming on. back. June is gonna be big. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, okay. Like they, they, Listen, we got to wrap about, up the show. Everyone's um, talking about June. We still bug. have to do another. We got to do our bonus episode. Let's do it. Oh shit! Um, what are you talking about in your bonus episode? Well, uh, we're gonna get into Rob, I guess. Damn. If you want right. to do that, Rob's gonna kick it. I'm, we're gonna I'm like down. get to the bottom of Bobby Birdman. Yeah. What? How you? Yeah. All, how you all met? And yeah, yeah. How oh. that you became a part of this and mm-hmm. whatever. No, he's gonna be he's a lot more shit. free to talk when you guys aren't here. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got a movie coming out too. Really? You do? A documentary, yeah. It premiered, but like the big release is coming out soon. What's yeah. the, the documentary about? It's about how we made this album using AI. It's oh, like really? Whole, like, yeah, thing. How, you get is, to see Martha. It's very beautiful. Feature-length film? Feature-length mm-hmm. film, yeah. Mm-hmm. And who shot it and made it and directed it? Uh, a production company called Memory. Riel Rock Dector and Sebastian Pardo directed it and produced it. And yep. yeah, it premiered at Copenhagen at CPH Docs last year. Were you there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then it's going on something. We, I don't know where it goes, but it's like having a wider release. We're not in charge of that part, but yeah. <laughs> I was just on, on the drive over here, hearing this um, segment on the radio about they they're taking these artists' voices. They're oh, making yeah. they're making the, they're having Kanye West sing some song that he wouldn't normally sing or yeah. Drake, Drake made this big. Yeah. There's a hit right now yeah. on on TikTok that's it's, it's yeah. Drake's voice. Yeah, but it, he it didn't make it. Yeah, or whatever, and stuff like that. Taylor Swift, all these, you yeah. got the AI making this stuff. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. What do, what do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 dead. it's boring. <laughs> yeah, it's boring. I don't know. It's boring. I guess it's like something to talk about. It's something. Like it's something different. Whenever this <laughs> happens, it's like I feel like these things are cool for like a month. Barely. Yeah. You know, like that. Those Dali things, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. like, those were everywhere. Then it was like, okay, yeah. those are so it's yeah. played out. It's yeah. Like, yeah. They, yeah, yeah. yeah. All boring. that stuff will just be like just under gets, the hood yeah. in all kinds of weird, way, insidious ways that we can't yet anticipate, and then they'll just be like uh, destroying culture from inside, from within. <laughs> <laughs> the rot. I wonder if I was to ma- have an AI version of myself that I could help me write jokes for myself. You know what I mean? Maybe. So yeah. if I yeah, AIs write jokes all the time. But I mean, I'm thinking they really can understand my sense of. Ability and my sense of humor, yeah. and then it could just give me material to d- perform on my own yeah. f- in real life. You could try 100% it. do that. You it's a bit of a, it. you probably like, a cheap trick. You right? probably get some press for that. Maybe <laughs> I don't Comedian think at this point you could jokes. get press for that. <laughs> Maybe I mean, do it yeah, the complete you, AI comedy set. Well, oh my God, there was an that? endless Seinfeld. Did you see that? There was a Twitch channel that was just yeah, yeah generated Seinfeld episodes with the stand-up parts and then the whole sitcom. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. I think I, yeah, it's, it's something like and that. And apparently yeah. there were moments that were funny. You saw some that you liked, right? Mm, well, I don't some, think so. Someone, I'm thinking of some someone other, told me they some liked other it. Some Twitch <laughs> fan. Twitch head. Twitch head. <laughs> Twitchy. It's got to get more advanced, though. All right. Well, yeah. where where can people go? 
to bed. To find, right to bed. To find yacht. <laughs> uh, Teamyacht.com? Teamyacht.com. You can go to the, the local, main spot. local record store. <laughs> go yeah. to the local indie zine store or indie record store. <laughs> in your bookstore, in your library. Yeah. Go to the library. You can yeah. get my book from the library. Yeah. Probably. The you nice. might even be able to get like a CD, yeah. a yacht CD from yacht the library. CD, yacht yeah. tape. Uh, yeah, we got cassettes. Um, yeah, not that the library. Not the library. I have Maybe not the library. Library of Congress. <laughs> 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 Technically, <laughs> probably. I don't even know. It, it's there. Does Sounds Library there. of Congress have like an indie sleaze <laughs> section? <laughs> 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 um, yeah, no, I don't know. Team Team Yacht is like the thing. At yacht, some places. Teamyacht.com. Com. Y. A. C. T. Dot com. Oh, com. Y. John made a really great website that no one will ever remember. Just search for, on Google for yacht and water and sail, <laughs> sailing, yeah. and you'll find you'll find. I'm you'll sure find you'll find them. Interesting. You'll yeah. Find, yeah. And we will yacht end. Rockers. We will end with the factoid that yacht stands for young American. Yep. Z, uh, wait, Americans. Yeah. Americans. Computer. No. Nope. No. Nope. Um, <laughs> I already forgot it. She's a concentrated. We're out. Concentrated. I just got a text. I'm no, sorry. just let let it let. What is? It? I'll look it up. Uh, young Ameri- Americans. Americans. Yeah. Let's try one. <laughs> computer. Hat. Computer. Compu- well, let's just yeah. Young Americans. Computer hat. Hat. Hat taco. Hat. hat what? Hat toys. <laughs> hat taco. Hat. Hat. Hot, hot taco. taco. Young, young American, American hot computer. Taco. Hot tog. Hot tog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found a hot tog on the street. <laughs> challenging. <laughs> Young Americans challenging high technology. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I knew computers were in there somewhere. Yeah, technology. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Young Americans computers hate uh, teachers. Talk. Yeah. Hot tog. So, there, Hot so tog. now you know the rest of it, Brent. The, now you know the rest <laughs> of the story. <laughs> the rest of the story. Good day. <laughs> Didn't he end like that? Yeah. What was his name? Paul? Paul. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Wasn't it named Michael Jackson? Paul Harvey. Harvey. Paul Harvey. Yeah, Paul, Paul Harvey. Harvey. Paul now Harvey. you know the now rest you of know the story. The rest Is of that the like story. from like Good day? KBC Talk Radio? It was, oh. it was like a syndicated mm. radio thing. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Got bye. it. Okay, Thanks bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, for, having Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for, you for coming by. You know, it was a pleasure. Anytime. <laughs> Great okay, to bye. see you. And we're going to smell Stick you. around. We're going to go unzip with Rob Keysweater. Is this live? AKA. <laughs> no, we're just telling them the, the watchers. He's going, he's going zipped. Um, we're going to go unzip with him. We're going to get unzipped with Rob Keysweater, AKA Bobby Birdman. That's right. Let's and go. maybe Jenny's Jenny. gonna Jenny's and gonna be in the Jenny mix. Lee. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Jenny. So Jenny check out Patreon.com/slash the. Oh, is it just Poundcast? I guess Patreon.com/slash Poundcast. And if you want to keep listening, thank you to Aaron Bruntgart. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, thank you, thank you. to um, Jack Birch, who is SweetJack.com, not Sweet Jackson. In case anybody thinks it's Sweet Jack, SweetJack.com on Instagram, thanks, and Jack. also. Um, Thanks to Daniel, Daniel Avila. Avila. He helps us with our TikToks. Peace. Doug and Brent talking to each other. Doug and Brent, what will they talk about today? Doug and Brent are talking to some pimples. Doug and Brent. We'll talk to their friends and Doug and Brent talking on the Poundcast.